Today's video is about making these modern low boy Adirondack chairs. These are a sweet build and I built four of them in less than a weekend. Here's how I did it. Using dimensional lumber for this project made this simple as it's already milled and it's pretty square and flat. I started at the miter saw to make a couple of cuts and then I needed to figure out the angle for this base. It ended up being 85 degrees and since my table saw and miter saw couldn't handle that, I had to make this simple jig out of MDF. It worked like a charm. Through the years of learning how to do woodworking and coming up with cool little tricks or hacks, this one took me a while to be honest with you. I always struggled with making strange angles and I couldn't figure out how to do them. You know, I would use a jigsaw or a circular saw, but the saws just wouldn't cut it. It wouldn't make it nice and perfect. So when I started coming up with these jigs, it made everything possible. As you can see here, I'm able to get this 85 degree angle and it's easy and straight. And this is gonna be the base. What do you think? Yeah, it'll work. I'm planning on making four of these chairs for my backyard, but there's the bottom, the rear, and the front. It's gonna be angled up like this, but we need to make a back support. It's kind of beefy, but it's gonna look cool. And I'm gonna make four of them, so I need to scribe or trace this template I just made on all these boards, just so I can get the right angles. If you're beginning your woodworking business, this is a great product to build and sell. Number one, I'm using dimensional lumber, and each chair is gonna cost me around $40 to make, and you could easily sell them for $200 a pop. Modern chairs are in style, and this is a great build. And with it being like an Adirondack chair, you can have exposed fasteners, and you don't have to go crazy with the joinery. It's all strong, and it all holds. Here's the back support, by the way. I had to come up with another jig for it, as it was a different degree angle. I'm using the Castle Pocket Machine for this project. It makes doing these pocket holes easy peasy. They're perfect, look at it. The bottom is a router, the top is a pilot hole. There's two routers in this machine and it makes going through this a breeze. But don't fret, if you don't have one, you could easily pick up a pocket hole jig. There's several of them out there or you could use a dowling jig. Either way, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for a fun summer project, I highly recommend this one. This was an easy build. I built four of these chairs in less than a weekend, which is two days, and it came out great. And my yard was needing some help. We had no chairs, no scenery, and these chairs around a fire pit in our backyard is gonna make an inviting atmosphere for the summer. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to show you at the end of this video. After dialing in my miter sled, I was ready to cut the slats for these chairs. Now I have almost 60 of them to make, but this made it quick and efficient. I'm in the process of making DIY plans for this build, and I'm gonna have a link down in the description box below if you're interested. But if you're a beginner, you're gonna love this project. And if you're an advanced woodworker, you're also gonna love it. And why you ask? It's because even if you're super advanced, an easy project every now and then just kind of reignites your passion for woodworking, or at least it does for me. Sometimes getting caught up in the methodical details of mortise and tendon joinery or bridle joints, you know, sometimes it can get monotonous and tiresome. But keep an easy project in your recipe list and just get going. I'm using some metal washers here to come up with a nice little radius curve. I wanted to smooth it out a little bit. Maybe you've seen this bit and maybe you haven't, but it's a pilot hole recessed drill bit with a non-marring stop collar. This thing is legit and my only regret is I didn't add this to my tool list years ago. Now cutting those radius curves out here on the bandsaw, if you don't have one, you could simply use a jigsaw. These are easy little cuts, but be sure to smooth them out with your sander. This is the armrest for these chairs, and I wanted to add a little chamfer to it as they're gonna be a modern look, and I think chamfer goes with the modern look. So I wanted to dress it up a little bit. Here's what I came up with. Simple and straightforward. Here's the legs. Here's the seating slats. 
And here's the base. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Now let's do a little pre-staining. If you're not used to this, get used to it. This makes the process simple. I mean, if you want to build a project and then flip things upside down and crawl into crevices staining, by all means, go for it. But I love pre-staining. But be sure to leave spots out that you're going to glue later. So lumber prices in America have gone through the roof. I'm sure you're already aware of that. So using dimensional lumber for this project was fun for me. I didn't have to spend a fortune on sapili or white oak or black walnut. And if I make any mistakes, it's not that big a deal. It's not that costly. So sometimes making projects out of dimensional lumber for your yard or for your home can be quite rewarding. Pro tip, definitely do not stain in the areas that you're going to glue. You want that stuff to be raw, especially with ingrain. It's going to soak up a good chunk of that glue and you want it on raw wood. Trust me on this. After a little finessing and assembling the slats, I was able to get it. Now it was time to move the chair to the floor and put on the legs. I clamped them down with some gear clamps and I used two inch screws from the inside. Repeat the process for the other leg and once you're done, you can remove the clamps and move on to the armrest. I'm really digging the look of these chairs. These low boys are awesome. They're a little bit beefy, but I like beef. So let's just beef it up. And here we go. Here's how it's coming out. Pre-stained and pre-sealed makes this amazing. Now I don't have to flip it around. Let's try it out in the front yard real quick. Make sure it's comfortable. And now it's time to move it on to the backyard. Check this out. We purchased these black cushions just to dress it up a bit. What do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? I'm going to sit down and enjoy it. Ah, victorious. Yes, I did it. Wait, nobody cares. I have no friends to celebrate with. Okay, see you next time.